Welcome to Spicy Cat Gems. I'm Kathy. Nice to see you. I am going to do a mini marathon filming all by myself tonight. Don't know how these are going to post, but this will be the first one. I wanted to just give you guys a little hello, Kathy chat, catch up, um, and a little mail call. Because I have been MIA. Well, I've been doing Truth Be Told Tuesday and I've been posting vault footage of Kim and I doing some tastings and um, life has just been hectic crazy in a good way. I started my new job so I'm working the night shift and I love it. It is perfect for me. I've always been a night person. I like the job I'm doing. I like the people I work with. It's a lot less stress. It's a different kind of stress because I'm the new person but very very happy um and it just has been an adjustment to try and figure out a filming and editing schedule because this is just for fun i don't do this as a job um i just love making videos i love chatting and making new friends out here and a lot of you are friends um so i just haven't really figured that out yet so sorry Hopefully, after the first of the year, I'll have gotten in the groove. And I don't have the same accessibility for filming. I used to always just film at my old desk because it was easier. It was good lighting. Um, and I don't really have any place set up at home. I just need to get it done. Right now, I'm at a craft retreat and I'm in a bedroom. It's really... What's back here? What can we see? Oh, the mail. I'm like, I don't even know what we're looking at here. These are, well, this is some cards I've been making. That's annoying. Let's move that. <laughs> it was distracting me. So, that's how I've been. I've been doing really well. Um, yeah, a lot less stress, getting better sleep, eating better, getting back on track with my weight loss. Um, yeah, pretty exciting. And some of this is so overdue. And I apologize to those of you that sent me notes um, of kinds of packages. There are two packages full of snack, kicking it, test, kicking it, taste test stuff that my friends Ruby and Steph from California sent like back in August. And then most recently, a friend Hannah sent um, a box. And I need to just get Kim cornered so we can sit and film. I have not. I had Eddie look through both of them to make sure if there was anything like immediately perishable or not. And sorry, I thought there was a bug on this bed frame, but it's just an old rusty bolt. <laughs> I'm still easily distracted. Anyway, so Steph and Ruby and Hannah, I do have your packages. Thank you. I have not looked in them because I want to be surprised. And Eddie went through them and there were some evil laughs coming out of him. And he's like, oh yeah, some of these are going to be epic. So, you know, Kim, it's the busy season at the post office. So I don't know if and when I'll get to film with her, but hopefully soon and then I can get those um edited but thank you thank you thank you you guys never have to send us anything I greatly appreciate whenever you do and I am very very far behind also in sending out thank you so like beginning middle of the year people sent me things and I'm sorry I I have no excuse anymore I mean life was crazy work was crazy and even that is not an excuse so I apologize but I want to share with you some cards I got because some of you were so kind. I mean, everybody was kind with comments and stuff, but some of you actually dropped little letters in the mail, especially as I was going through the really tough times. And this one, does it have a, I was like looking for the post office thing. Maybe, maybe you wrote it. This is from my friend Paula and it is so beautiful. Yeah, this is from July. See you guys, she made this beautiful card. Look at that. Lovely purpley flowers, a little purple feather, and has a lovely note inside for me. And I love, Paula, I absolutely love your stamp on the back. That is adorable. I'm wondering, did you get it from Magnuson Stamps? Because I want to order from them. They're actually from Minnesota. And then inside, look what she made. 
this is so cool. And I'm pretty sure she used a um, playing card. I thought I could see through that it was in a previous life, like, a, you know, from a deck of cards. And look at all the dimension. This is so beautiful. I think she, like, decoupaged it. Did something to make it stiff. And then just decorated it. This is gorgeous. Thank you. This came at a very stressful time. And I have been treasuring it. And we need to show everyone. So it's beautiful. My friend Linda sent to me a little card with Linda and John. And I know, I think I even commented to Linda and said to you and Thomas. I'm like, oh, I know it's not Thomas. It's John. Look at this beautiful card she made for me. It's got little blings. It's pretty. And even the envelope is pretty. I'm pretty, well, I know this is from Stampin' Up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she got paper pumpkin for a while. This Look at this cute owl on the back and the washi. I got a card from my friend Lynn in California. And it's not so pretty. And I want to show you, I'm not going to show you the, the writing. But look how she did this on the inside. Oh, isn't that cute? These cat stickers are adorable. This one's even got like googly eyes. These are super super cute stickers it's like you know i savor these and all of these i like reread several times because that's how my um summer was and i got a couple halloween cards friend adriana she is you are a well-seasoned friend you've been around with me from the beginning and i appreciate you i think about you all the time so this cute little pumpkin with a mustache, a little Halloween card. It says, wishing you a stash-tastic Halloween. <laughs> my kind of humor. Thank you, Adriana. And then this one I got from my friend Pam, and she's crafty like some of the rest of you. Look at this, she made this Halloween card. You can kind of see she colored it with like shimmery gel pens. Isn't that cute? And then what I found out, so this is a stamp, the witch and the moon are like rubber stamps. She drew the cauldron. She drew that. She's an artist and she put the ground and all of that. Yeah. Pam, you're amazing. And you cracked me up so much because on the inside she likes stamps, you know, Halloween verse and all this. And then over here she drew a little picture and she wrote, um, I hate leaving empty spaces inside cards. I'm the same way. I like fill them all in. Um, I already got a couple Christmas cards. I'm not going to show these now. We'll try to do last year. Eddie and I did a holiday mail call roundup. So maybe we'll do that. If anyone wants a Christmas card, just send one to me and I will send you one back. My address is down in the description box my p.o box so if i get a card from you and if you've sent me anything any cards or anything throughout the year i keep track and i send christmas cards out to everybody because i enjoy that and then even though this isn't like wahoo mail well it's wahoo mail just not friend mail it's my cat sticker club and these have been in my house and i haven't even opened them i'm pretty sure this is september october and november well, maybe I opened September, but I can't remember if I showed you guys. I forget. And it resealed itself. So this is like the most inexpensive subscription box. Like if it's a box, it's like $3 or something a month. And you get these really decent, high quality stickers that I still don't know what I'm going to do with. And Sour Puss. They're cats. They're all cat stickers. I love them. So for now, I'm just collecting them until I have a good purpose, a good home for them. So let's see what October was. Was it Halloween? It. Oh, this is could be like my little logo. Stay positive. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's a happy cat. 
and November came. And like each of these, they're like designed by like artists to come up with these. Most of them are unique and they turn them into a sticker. And the next one, if I can grab it. Oh, this is cute. This is what I would consider more of the Halloween one. It's like, you know, same costume. Or else he's just super cat in a bowl. Because we know cats, if there's a bowl, if there's a box, they're in it. <sighs> Big fun. So there you go. That's my brief little recap of life. Um, Eddie's doing fine. His family's doing fine. I'm doing fine. Just going through, you know, changes. We, um, one uh, back in August, and I don't remember if I said this in my Be Truth Be Told Tuesday, but, um, one of our fur babies, we had to put to sleep. He was really sick. He was really sad. And he was, um, one of our original, we have kind of our original three that are the oldest. They're, we're 13 years old. And it was Rico, and he was Eddie's baby boy. Totally, totally daddy's boy. And um, he, like, followed him around like a puppy. Ever since I brought him home, I brought him home as a birthday gift for Eddie. And um, ever since then, he was, yeah, he knew whose who his daddy was. So that was a really tough one to go through. But we still are going strong with five. We have five kids. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to 2019 to see what it has in store. Maybe I'll do another chatty video before then. But anyway. All is well. So, I hope things have been going well for you guys. Thanks again to everyone who took the time to send me a card, a note, um, a comment. They actually sent me packages. Thank you. You don't have to do that. <laughs> but um, I really do appreciate it. So, thank you guys. Thank you. You all matter. Any single one of you who's watching this. From the beginning till the end, anywhere in between, even those of you that like to thumbs down or thumbs up, you still matter because we're all, we're all people and we're important in this world. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise or try and put you down because you have value. You do. I have value. I need to remind myself sometimes, but um, we'll help each other out. So, okay, friends, I'm going to let you guys go because you know I could ramble for an hour.